guys so I want to let you guys in on my pre prep prep for Thanksgiving so um, I just want to let you guys know um, what I've done so far I know today we are Saturday the Saturday before Thanksgiving so Thanksgiving's on Thursday um, I did let you guys know that I have a 25 pound turkey so um, I've actually, I'm going to show you guys right now, this is my fridge, I actually have brought down my turkey from my freezer to my fridge. Um, you want to defrost your turkey inside of the refrigerator. Um, you don't want to defrost it out on the sink or on the counter because then you run the risk of salmonella poisoning. So even if you're going to brine your turkey, uh, you want to brine it inside the fridge. Um, I have brined my turkey uh, in the past. Each year I try to do uh, something a little bit different. Um, but since I have a 25 pound turkey, you always want to at least uh, defrost your turkey at least 48 hours in your fridge. And that's for a relatively small turkey. So since mine is a little bit larger, um, I am gonna let it defrost for about three days in the refrigerator. The last day would be my, the day before Thanksgiving would be when I'm gonna prep my turkey. Um, I have brined my turkeys in the past. The first turkey I did, um, I did a rosemary butter turkey. Um, then the second turkey I did, I just did, um, it was just, just a butter turkey, just butter. Butter under the skin, butter on the outside, just butter, just butter by itself. Um, then the next turkey I did, <coughs> excuse me, um, it was a, it, I just put butter, I think, just on the outside, and I just, uh, sorry, I stuffed it with, um, you know, some fruits and vegetables. Um, this year, um, well, my mother-in-law every year, she tends to inject her turkey, um, whether it be with the sauce that, that the injection comes with or wine. So this year I actually um, wanted to do something different because every year I try to do something different. So this year I actually bought this um, uh, injectable butter. Uh, my mother-in-law has actually used this specific one and wine together and it comes out, you know, tastes rather good. Um, I think I'm probably still going to put the butter under the skin just to avoid my turkey from getting dry. So I'll probably do this and then I'll probably um, stuff it with an orange, a uh, lemon, a celery stalk, a carrot stalk, and an onion and one or two jalapenos. Um, so I do do that in a roaster and on, on the bottom of the roaster I, st I have those vegetables as well. So I just want to let you guys know uh, the pre-prep that I have. I also brought down my ham. Um, that one's going to defrost a lot faster than the turkey but it's a seal package sealed, air, 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 air tight sealed. So if it stays in the refrigerator it's good till Thanksgiving and you won't have to worry about defrosting anything. The only other thing that I'm going to keep in my freezer probably until the day before is going to be the salmon because the salmon is going to defrost right away and it, it, it's going to cook rather fast so that's what I have and uh, my next video that I'm going to put up is probably going to be my uh, pineapple cranberry sauce so um, I'll see you guys later just want to let you guys know uh, my pre prep prep for Thanksgiving so I'll see you guys later Los amo. bye